Good morning and welcome to America's Daily Headline Prayer with Intercessors for America. We're here to provide you with a brief summary of today's headlines and a moment of prayer to start your day right. These are the headlines for today, Friday the 24th of May, 2024. A leading advisor with the National Institute of Health, NIH, allegedly deleted crucial data pertaining to the origins of COVID-19. This advisor also reportedly used undisclosed channels to aid Dr. Anthony Fauci and a federal grantee in funding gain-of-function research in Wuhan to avoid transparency. This alarming revelation casts doubt on one of the most reputed health organizations in the U.S. Despite the U.S.'s extensive efforts to provide aid to Gaza, none of the supplies seem to reach the intended civilians. The Pentagon reports the hundreds of tons of aid delivered via a military-built pier in Gaza appear to have not made it to the Palestinians. Unrest and dangerous security situations reportedly resulted in aid being looted before formal distribution could be initiated. Soft on crime policies, largely criticized to be resulting in escalated crime across the U.S., are being rejected in Oregon. Portland voters have elected a former Republican as next district attorney, displacing incumbent Mike Schmidt and his progressive agenda. This denotes a broader backlash against progressive crime policies in Oregon, a stronghold for experimental left-wing initiatives. President Biden is transferring $7.7 billion in student debt to taxpayers. The move forms part of Biden's continued efforts to fulfill campaign promises to cancel debt despite legal opposition. The various debt forgiveness plans could potentially cost taxpayers between $870 billion to $1.4 trillion. Uh, um, let's pray. Our Father, we pray for the exposure of corruption in our country. We ask you to continue unraveling the lies about COVID and its origins for all to see. We also pray for those in the Gaza Strip suffering under Hamas. We pray that any aid sent would reach them and that it would not be hijacked by terrorists. We thank you for bringing a more moderate district attorney to power in Oregon, and we ask you to put an end to all soft on crime policies. Finally, we pray against Biden's attempts to win over younger voters with the taxpayer dollar. We pray all of this in your name. Um, amen. Thank you for joining Christians across the nation to pray for these issues today. Make sure you like and subscribe. You'll find more news, prayer, and action at ifapray.org.